What's going on guys? My name's Mike with Let's Just Go Travel. Today we're going to be installing solar panels on our new Jayco 166 FBS. So one great thing about this trailer is that it's already pre-wired for roof solar as well as a charge controller here on the inside. It makes the installation process a relative breeze. There's already a marked spot for where you need to cut into the wall to install your charge controller. And on the roof, there's already outlets pre-wired in and ready to go. You just need to install your solar panel and hook it up. Uh, so like I said, this is a brand new trailer to us. We still haven't even taken it out for its shakedown trip. Just trying to get everything ready and prepped. So once we do get out there, we have everything ready to go. And just as a disclaimer, this is my first First time doing this we are still relatively new to RVing we've learned a little bit over the last year or so but this will be the first time I've actually cut into the walls of this thing so hopefully whatever happens here with me can serve as if nothing else an educational tool if you have this trailer and you're looking to install solar hopefully this video will be helpful to you all right let's get started All right, so we're up on the roof now. For our build of this trailer, we went with the factory roof racks. Our original intention was to use these roof racks for holding our canoe, but once we got our canoe up here and tried to actually fit it on here, we realized that it wasn't going to fit. So I decided to repurpose these to be a permanent install point for our solar panel. All right, so just put the solar panel there for now while I work. So the idea is that I'm gonna get the solar panel to run across this way. Uh, and how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna install these square tubings that I found at Home Depot, fasten them to these roof racks, like so. And then we're gonna mount the solar panel on top, horizontal. So like I said, I'm installing the solar panel to our factory roof rack. The most common way to install solar panels on an RV is to screw them directly into the roof, which is totally safe and easy to do. There's lots of good tutorials out there on how to do this, and I'd encourage you to look them up if that's the way that you're gonna install yours. All right, so I got both bars installed. All right, uh, not bad. Yeah, I think this will look pretty good. We have good clearance. See underneath. And cables will run out right there. Right to our little outlet right here. Now I'm gonna get to work drilling the frame of the solar panel into these support bars that I just installed. So real quick, this is a 315 watt monocrystalline solar panel. Most trailers this size, people tend to get like 190 watts or 200 watt solar panels, but we decided might as well get the big boy and go big or go home, right? So we got 315 watts. And I guess in the future, if we wanted to add some more, we still have this space here. But I think this should be a good start for now. Uh, I decided to add three bars instead of just two. Uh, when I mounted the solar panel on it, it looked like it was kind of bowing down in the middle. so. Put another one on and let's get it back on. Okay, just to show you what I got going on. So the aluminum tube that I bought from Home Depot is bolted to the roof rack and the solar panel frame is bolted to the aluminum tube. So that should hold it. Now let's do the rest. Alrighty. Solar panel is in, 100% secured, ready to go. Uh, this is where the connection would go, but it's just not quite long enough. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get an extension cable. Uh, cool, so that definitely took way longer than I originally expected it to go. I started at like, I think like 11 in the morning with all like my tools laid out and ready to go. Um, it's like five in the afternoon now. So I thought like, oh, it'd probably take like a couple hours, but I probably made like six trips to the hardware store to get different screws and yeah, but it's all good. We got it fully mounted with Dana's help at the end here. And now we're gonna head inside and finish installing the charge controller. Okay, so now that we're back in the trailer, we have to install the solar charge controller along this wall. So if you have this same trailer, you likely got a sticker or something that was on this wall that shows you that this is where you place the panel. Ours didn't come with it for some reason. What I did to find out that the pre-wire was actually in here was I just popped open this set of electrical sockets 
and I could see the pre-wire just kind of hang behind it here. So for now, we're just going to choose a location where we want it and then we're going to cut into the wall and it should be all good. So let's go. So the charge controller that we're going with is the GoPower PMW 30 amp controller with Bluetooth. Uh, this is a really popular model for RVs and it also flush mounts to your wall so there's no hanging wires. Okay, so we've marked where we want it to be, uh, and now we're gonna start cutting through it. To cut through the wall, we're just gonna use an X-Acto knife. The interior walls of an RV are just made of Luan plywood, which is really, really thin, so you can kind of just hack away at it with this, and it'll come apart. All right, let's go. It's my first time cutting through this kind of stuff, so it's a little daunting cutting into the walls of your brand new RV, uh, but Oh my god, there's a hole. Don't lose it. <laughs> Ta-da! Ah, all right, we're in business. Okay. Okay, so now what we got to do is connect these four wires into this solar charge controller. Okay, so got these all hooked up. Gonna clean up these wires a little bit. Also known as just shove them back into the wall and forget about them forever. <laughs> all right, good. It's pretty nicely <laughs> for the most part. Cool. Okay, uh, I just gotta screw them in. I mean, it's probably fine like that. You probably don't need it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, cable from Amazon finally arrived. Took a little longer than expected, but now we can finally hook it up. And just checking inside, it looks like it's working. We're making power. It's a pretty cloudy day, so we're not getting a ton of it, but it's working. So that about wraps it up here for the install of solar in our Jayco 166 FPS. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe. Like I said before, this trailer is completely brand new to us. We haven't even gone on our first shakedown trip with it. But stay tuned because we will be doing a full length owner's review of this trailer once we've actually gone out there and used it and whatnot so we can give an accurate report of how everything works and how we like it. So, but for now, my name is Mike with Let's Just Go Travel. See you guys on the next one.